If you've ever driven along the Central Coast and wondered what the heck these plants are, you're not alone. To the naked eye, they may just appear to be overgrown plants, but look a little closer and you'll discover one of the hidden beauties of California agriculture, artichokes. And there's no better place to learn about them than here at Ocean Mist Farms. The folks here have been devoted to growing the thorny thistle since 1924, and today they are the largest artichoke grower in North America. And this is where they call home, the tiny town of Castroville, which happens to have a huge distinction, artichoke capital of the world. Yeah, I said world. And the honor isn't just by accident. Castro really has a, a Mediterranean-like climate. Artichokes don't like it the same way they don't like a lot of rain or not enough rain. They also don't like a lot of cold or a lot of heat. And uh, in the summertime here in Cashville, it's rare it gets above 75 degrees. In fact, normally it's 65 in the day and around 50 at night. And it's that way from the middle of June to the middle of August. California produces 100% of the United States crop of artichokes, and it's no easy task. Before it reaches your home, it will take skill, speed, and smarts out in the field to get the job done right. Workers begin by scouring the field looking for the right-sized artichoke, which they quickly harvest and then toss over their back into a specially made artichoke harvesting backpack called a canasta. From there, they take it to the nearby packing truck where each choke is inspected and packed with only the best of the best, making it through to your store. Each crew is gonna harvest and pack between three and 5,000 cartons on a daily basis for the next two months. And that really equates to about 150,000 artichokes per crew per day. Now at this time, we're running three crews that's, you know, we're pushing a half a million artichokes. And hoping to help them reach their daily goal of nearly a million artichokes harvested and packed, and because I always like a good challenge, I decided to try my hand at harvesting one of my favorite veggies. So, Dale, you're going to teach me how to harvest artichokes. That's right. I take it you've never harvested artichokes before? How did you know? Lucky guess. Lucky <laughs> well, guess. it's your lucky day. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let, first, let's start with this. Okay. You, this, uh, this is what they call a canasta. Okay. It's uh, the artichoke harvesting basket. And what you do is you'll take your right or left arm and, and sling the canasta Try over your shoulder. Try not to the person next to you. Exactly. Put your arm through the other piece. Okay. And make sure your straps are... Twist, okay, not, yeah. Not twisted. Okay, okay, that's a woman thing. Okay, okay this is, this is uh, your, your harvesting knife. Okay. As to how to harvest, you're going to put it underneath the artichoke and you're just going to pull it towards you like this here. Uh -huh. Now, what we would like to see is about three fingers, which means this is a little bit long here. Okay, so just... So just take, toss it off, and then toss the artichoke in the basket. You look really easy. Uh, it, actually, uh, you've got about three hours to get the neck of this because if you don't catch on by then, <laughs> you're done. You're fired. Then there was the toss, which took some practice, but then I was a pro at it. No luck. <laughs> you know, you're, you're catching on a lot faster than, uh, than most folks do. I, I'm impressed. <laughs> I really am. I'm, I'm thinking there's a place for you out here. Uh, I gotta say, I, you're probably one of the fastest learners that I've ever uh, taught how to pick artichokes. Here's something extra for you in the paycheck there, Dale. And so look, look at this beautiful jumbo artichoke right oh here. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Big, big size jumbo artichoke. What, as a grower, what does that make you feel when you see something like that? that well, that's... I just, it just, it's what being an artichoke grower is all about. I mean, uh, the fact that you're able to uh, be out here, harvest the product that you've worked hard to grow all year long, it gives you a really, uh, it's a special feeling. Yeah. It's, it's, every other grower in the world knows what I'm feeling right now. On second thought, I think I'm going to leave the harvesting up to the pros. And while I'm at it, I think I may leave the cooking up to the pros too. Monterey chef Tony Baker isn't a native Californian, but he says he has fallen in love with the California grown veggie and hopes to help others do the same too. Well, it's funny. Um, California, there's very few strangers to artichokes, but once you start getting into other parts of the country, um, people are fascinated by them, and they're a little bit bewildered and, and puzzled and how to cook them. And uh, 
somewhat intimidated. So it's, I take uh, pride in taking out that intimidation and showing them how simple they really are to prepare. And uh, once people get into them, it's a lot of fun. They, they really start to enjoy them. Tony has been working with Ocean Mist Farms for 11 years now, and every year tries to come up with about 25 new recipes using artichokes. And this one is arguably his easiest yet. To start, you need a good pair of scissors. These artichokes have thorns, and those thorns hurt, so we want to just snip those off all the way around. This is somewhat of an optional step. This is for a restaurant presentation. I think it looks better. But the thorns really do fall off when you cook them, so they become really a non-issue. All right, once you get all the way around this bad boy, we're going to cut the top off. We're going to cut the top off with a nice, sharp, serrated knife. It's about three quarters of an inch or so. We're going to remove most of the stem since we're going to put this in the oven and we want to cook it straight up. Now remember, the stem is an extension of the heart. That white meat in there is all good stuff. So you can either cook the artichoke stem along with it, or if you're going to do a grilled presentation or boil them, I, I normally leave the stem on. So just a little tip there. In this case, we're going to just discard it. All right, now what we want to do is loosen those bracks. Tony then uses a restaurant trick. He rubs a little lemon on the edges to keep the ends from discoloring. Next, he seasons the artichoke with garlic, salt, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and some freshly ground pepper, and then wraps it up in some foil. Then he pops it into the oven for about 50 minutes at 400 degrees, and voila, an artichoke awaits your next meal. It's as easy as that. So while preparing them is simpler than ever, the journey from field to fork for artichokes remains a well-orchestrated production. And I should know, but farmers wouldn't want it any other way. It keeps you humble. At the same time, uh, competitive people really love the, the industry of agriculture for that reason, because you just never know what's going to happen one second to the next. For California Country, I'm Tracy Sellers.